Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going over the 12th of July patch notes for King's Raid. I've already read through most of it, so we kind of have an idea before going in. And of course the biggest thing are the new unique treasures for the second skill. This update should be live already by the time this video is up. Actually it's live right now as recording. Uh, but regardless, I still wanted to do the patch note because it's just easier to digest when we can just see everything here. So how it usually is, the old new heroes, Shamila, Kara, and Chase have had their unique weapon added to the arena shop, the ticket, and the unique treasure ticket. While well, their unique treasure has been added to the unique treasure ticket, blah blah blah. We also have some beach costumes which are always fun. Um, of course, you can see them here. Uh, yes, very, very nice. So, of course, this is all the information about the second uh, unique treasure. This is going to be for their skill 2 effects. This is mostly just general information. Uh, you can read it if you want to. I'm going to skip it because it's not super important. And we can see here the unique treasure effects per hero. I'm not going to go over all of them, obviously, but I am going to point out some ones that stood out to me. Starting with Frey, hers may be the most busted unique treasure for her second skill. Because she already had such a powerful shield, and that's getting increased by 50% if you have her uh, S2 UT. And it will also recover 100 mana every second for 4 seconds, so almost half of a mana orb uh, for those 4 seconds. Which isn't a huge amount, but it definitely, I think, can make a difference. And just the shield, I mean, her shield was so strong already, and now it's getting buffed by 50%, so yeah. Damn crazy. Kalos is also pretty interesting. He'll create a shield. When he heals a hero that already has full HP, that will grant CC immunity and as well as absorbing a damage of 200% of attack. So since Kaula has a sort of heal over time, sort of burst healing sort of thing, he should be giving CC immunity pretty much while he's doing that. Epis's S2 can now stun for a second while having its damage increased by 50%. Refi's second skill gives a much larger M defense boost than it did before, making him even better to counter magic teams and any other magic content. Demia's kind of stood out to me, but in a bad way, because the already maxed out thing here is the increases damage by 50%. She's a tank that has never done damage and probably never will. So when you get it up to 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, the P weakness of the target, that will get buffed, but of course that will stay the same. Those should definitely be swapped, so where the P weakness is the one maxed and the damage is the one that goes up, or no damage at all, whatever. Rodina has also kind of stood out because this seems like something it should be anyway, where it changes the target to a random enemy when Rodina's target dies. That seems like it should just be on the skill naturally, but uh, okay. But it will also increase the attack by 20% for 10 seconds. That's the secondary effect, I guess, so that number will get buffed when you raise its stars. Jane's second skill unique treasure is also pretty interesting. She's always kind of been a DPS tank, like probably one of the best, and her second skill kind of helps her with that, but the thing with these unique treasures is that you can only have one of the unique options, so either for skill 3 or skill 2. And her skill 3 unique option is probably one of the best out of all the all the skill 3 unique treasures, so I still don't know if it would be worth replacing that unique option with this one. Aisha's is also pretty crazy, I mean her laser beam already did massive damage and that's going to be doing 50% more straight off the bat with a 0 star, and she'll also recover half of an orb as soon as she uses it. Looks like Nyx's second skill unique treasure is making him quite a bit better for it. even better for AoE situations because he can get a 50% crit damage buff when he uses his second skill and the second skill's damage is increased by 50% and I assume the crit damage buff will increase as you raise it. It is only for 8 seconds though and I believe the second skill has a bit of a longer cooldown than that so it, it won't be a permanent crit damage buff but uh, it is there. Ricardo's is another one that stood out to me. Uh, he'll gain CC immunity and increase his in resistance by 10% for the skill's duration. So his divine protection is the skill 2 that lasts I think 10 seconds. So 10 seconds of CC immunity that most likely can be removed because CC immunity is just a buff. But even so, that's quite nice. Just want to chime in here while editing real quick and do note that Ricardo's S2 does have a perk that makes it undispellable. However, I'm not sure if that includes the CC immunity or not. 
So that's just something to take note of though. Because when I was taking Ricardo into Arena, I'd have him equipped with this uh, talisman or whatever, the Talisman of Resistance, I believe it was, and I would have to wait until I got hit with a CC and then do his thing so that that wouldn't get interrupted, especially fighting magic teams. But now, you don't really, he, he will just have CC immunity, so unless there is a Leo that's straight away casting, you should be fine. Cassandra's second skill, her buff, can, I believe, have a 100% uptime now because that will increase its duration by five seconds and it'll increase the crit damage by another 20%. Aselica's is another one that stood out but as being bad because she's a magic tank that will reduce P defense of the target. I mean, you typically take magic tanks with a magic team and also Aselica reduces magic defense, so that's kind of off there. Yeah, and I guess that's pretty much it for the ones that personally stood out to me. There probably are some more standout ones, but you know, I'm not familiar with every single hero, uh, so. If, if I miss one that you think is exceptional for being either really bad or really good, you can leave that down in the comments below. So you can equip both treasures, it's just that the main one will be the only one that has the unique option. The one you place in its like rune slot, in this case, uh, will only have the additional options. So, you know, down here it says max HP plus 8. That's the stuff you'll be getting from the one down here. The main one, you'll get everything as usual. Also, the common treasures you can farm can only be a main treasure, so you unfortunately can't just put a common treasure in there to get any HP boosts or additional options or whatever until you get one of their other unique treasures. We have some League of Honor revamps. You will be able to acquire the Medal of Honor even if the opponent quits the match. That's nice uh, because that was quite annoying whenever you were, you know, grinding the League of Honor and someone quits and it's like, damn, what a waste of time. But even if they quit, you'll at least still get the Medal of Honors. You'll also be able to see the banned heroes at the same time on the band pick stage. Also, they were removing the consecutive win extra points and instead the participation medals and victory medals will increase. So you'll get a total of 70 total if you win and I guess you'll get just 20 if you lose just for participating. Well, I haven't done League of Honor in a while, but I could have sworn when you have five consecutive wins, you're getting over 100 medals. So it might be all those combined. So it's quite a bit lower for manual, strong League of Honor players, but it's definitely better for weaker players or macro users. You can skip the tutorial as long as it's not during a battle. They've added a filter function when you're choosing a unique treasure or unique weapon, which is nice. A little quality of life change to the repeat battle thing, you can select whether to use your loot booster and how many times, and then I guess it would just stop using it at one point, but continue on the auto repeat, I assume. Guild Conquest achievements, you can see those here, participating and achieving first place. Another thing that's quite useful for new players is that you'll get some warning messages when uh, the dragon, for example, I guess this is only in raids, will do a big attack. For example, here it says he'll start to flap its wings powerfully, which means he's about to fly up and do his breath attack, which is his most powerful skill. You can turn that off as well if you want to. They're making level 70, Fire, Frost, Poison, and Black Dragon easier. Um, I guess that just kind of fits in with a the theme of making early game a lot easier and a lot faster. Uh, I've just noticed they've been on that sort of trend so that new players can catch up a lot more quickly. Um, they're probably keeping level 80 how it is right now because of course you can get the best stuff now at level 80 rather than level 70 so you have to be strong to get the best stuff but early game players can still go far uh, when they can start doing level 70 earlier. Oh that's also quite nice you can add up to 50 items to enhance a gear instead of only 10 as it was before. Another cool quality of life thing is you can instantly max option enchant instead of doing them all individually. It'll tell you how much dust you need and as well as the gold. The same thing for purification again that's quite a nice quality of life change. I was kind of asking for this, but I know they reduced the time it took in that stage, because when you hit Purify, it would go up more uh, more than it was before. So, but this is actually even better, because once you've ascended heroes 30 times, having to see that screen well over 100, this would definitely be a lot better. We also got some bug fixes here. I'll go over any that stand out to me. Well, the only one that really stands out is that Yana's unique treasure, for some reason, had an effect having much higher effect in certain uh, circumstances. I don't know what that would be, but I just remember reading her unique treasure and thinking it's the worst unique treasure that has ever existed. And so they're fixing a bug that made that probably 
only the second worst unique treasure. Uh, so now it's back to the worst again. Or did they actually change that? I'm not sure if they changed Yana's unique treasure since I did the initial unique treasure review. And yeah, most of the other bugs are just kind of little things. Of course, there were some bugs with some hero's skills. Most of those heroes I don't use and I'm not familiar with, so uh, could be massive, could be unimportant. Tell me what you guys think. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it for this video. So my thoughts on it, I do kind of like the idea of uh, second unique treasures, but uh, I know how long it takes to get one and you do have the tickets where you can select one after a long long time But then to max them out you need like 30 of them and then that's for one hero So I mean if the unique treasures were at least a little bit easier to get like unique weapons are I know just getting like one of phrase for example would make her a god so you don't need to get it to five star or, or anything. So with your very next, you know, unique treasure selector, you can just choose phrase and be done with that. But even so, I do kind of have mixed feelings on the second unique treasure because again, it does add another thing that kind of separates uh, the whales from the dolphins or the even free to play. Uh, because they can just get them much much faster and it's just another thing that further separates and again of course you can get them for free it's just insanely slow all in all I think it's okay though uh, it does add more variety you can make your favorite heroes shine a bit more uh, depending on what their uni treasure does of course and there were quite a lot of quality of life changes as well so that's cool but make sure to let me know what you think about this patch in the comments down below leaving a like if you'd happen to enjoy would also be greatly appreciated thanks as always for watching and until next time